Australia has 10,685 beaches, some of them rated as top beaches in the world. It would take you around 27 years to visit a new Australian beach every day. It is the largest country in Oceania and world's sixth largest country by total area. Despite of its large massive area, it is drifting towards north and with slightly clockwise rotation. Well, the story is, why is Australia moving towards north each year? The Australian plate is the fastest continental plate on the planet, moving northwest and slightly to the east by about 7 cm each year. Due to tectonic shifts, Australia is drifting. The tectonic plates under the continent slightly displace. All that movement can build up tension that eventually releases in the form of an earthquake. But the most immediate result is that it drags the entire landmass of Australia closer to the equator year after year. So what about GPS? If it's moving, how do you keep up with it? Well, a significant correction must be made by the end of the year for navigation technology to keep up working smoothly. The coordinates were last set in 1994, so it's about 1.8 meter wrong. To fix the problem, the government announced that the country's latitude and longitude will officially be updated to reflect the continent's new position. Right now, digital maps know where a country is supposed to be based on detailed coordinates supplied by the government. So if you're looking at Google Maps, your phone has already been searching for a signal sent out by one of many GPS satellites orbiting the planet. And based on the positioning information that comes back, your phone is able to figure out your longitude and latitude and place you on the map based on your country's official coordinates. But for Australia, the coordinates had to be updated. A 1.8 meter discrepancy isn't a huge issue for those who just want to use Google Maps to figure out of the fastest route for home. Because GPS technology in our smartphones is only accurate to within 5 to 10 meters away. But as the technology improves and we start to rely on GPS to do things like navigate self-driving cars, we're going to need the measurements to be a whole lot of more accurate. The national body is also looking into how they keep the numbers more up to date in the future. Things get tricky because massive tectonic shifts such as earthquakes can also change the longitude and latitude of the continent. Back in 2004, a magnitude 8.1 earthquake occurred in the Pacific Ocean just one day before the Indian Ocean tsunami and it shifted the distance between mainland Australia and Tasmania by millimeters. And after last year's Nepalese earthquake, the Himalayas actually shrunk by 1.5 meters. Sometimes we forget that our planet is constantly moving and I think you should also move on to an extra of why.